Hello everyone. So the last project we had made a aeroplane on Tinkercad. So today we will build a digital forest in Tinkercad. So once we have to go on the Tinkercad website. So first we will go on our Tinkercad page. So this is our Tinkercad page, and now we will click on create and we will go on 3D designs. So it's loading here. So this is our page. So let's see the next step. So we have to rename our project by something like my digital forest. So here we will rename it. We will write here my and now we will enter it. So the next step, let's see it. So first we have to create the elements of the forest like sun so first we will find a ball shape in tinkercad shape library so yes here it's a ball shape in basic so we will drag it and we will take it to our work plane so now let's see the next step place it in our workspace and res resize it to represent the sun and change its color to yellow so now we have taken it to our work plane and we will increase its size and we will change its color to represent our sun. So here I will take yellow color and you can see our sun is ready over here. So now the next step. So the next step is we have to make mountain. So first select a cone shape for the mountain. So first, we will take a cone shape over here. So here, I have taken a cone shape. You can view it from all sides. So this is our cone shape over here. So now let's see the next step. Increase its size and change the color to brown. So here we will increase its size and we will change its color. We will click on it and we will change its color to brown. Okay. So let's see the next step. Duplicate the cone and position them to create a range of mountain. So yeah, we have to duplicate our cone. And we have to adjust it like the range of mountain. So let's do that. So we have to add 5 to 6 cones over here. And like this, you can increase your size to look more like. Like this. And you can see our mountains are ready over here. So let's see the next step. Trees. So for trees, first we will take a cylinder shape for the trunk. Okay, so here is a cylinder shape. And now, now see the next step. So change its color to brown and adjust its size. So we will click on it and we will change its color to brown. And we will adjust its size. So now see the next step. Duplicate the cylinder to draft multiple trees. Okay. So we have to duplicate it. So here I will duplicate three this side and three another side. So again click on it and duplicate it. Like this. 
same process to the another side click on it and we will duplicate it like this and one more tree so here i have click on it and i have duplicated it and you can see the trunk are ready over here now see the next step for the tree tops utilize a cone or a half sphere shape resize them and paint them green okay and place them atop the tree trunks so first we will take a cone over here we will change its color and here i will give it green and now we have to place it on the top of our trunks same we will duplicate it and we will place it like this and again for the another side we will use a semi circle this one here i will change it color and will take dark green over here and we have to place this a top of a trunk and same we will duplicate it and we will place it like this so you can see over here our trees are also ready now see the next step a river search for a river shape in tinker cat or create one using wavy line shape position it between a mountain and resize it as needed okay so here we will search river so you can see this is our river and now we will place it between our mountains and here i will drag its size and you can see it has been done so now let's see the next step adding animals add some wildlife to your forest start with an elephant so yeah first we will find a elephant so let's search here elephant and you can see here we got our elephant now see the next step place the elephant shape in your forest and adjust its size and repeat the process for another animals like bear and fish so we will drag our elephant over here first and you can see it's very large so first we will decrease its size like this we will copy it and we will place it at another side and now we have to rotate and decrease its size like this and now we will take a bear over here so search for a bear so you can see there are some results so we will take this one and this is also very large so first we will decrease its size and now we will rotate and now i will drag it and place it over here so the next we will add some fishes 
in our river. So search here fish. So you can see here are our fish. So now let's place it. So you can see we have to adjust it as per our river like this and now we will decrease its size and now we will take it to our river and click on it we will place it like this and you can see we have placed our fishes over here now see the next step. Finalizing your, our digital pro forest, arrange all elements you have created in your forest scene, ensuring everything looks balanced and natural. So now let's see our project and you can see it looks very good. And this was our last step. You can save and share your project. Thank you.